Here are five totally effective ways to counter mechs. Presented by Fortnite Master. This week's video is about the elephant in the room right now in Fortnite, the mechs. These all-powerful robotic vehicles have sent the community into a tizzy, and rightly so. They are so strong that the player in the gunner seat typically only needs to use one hand to rack up kill after kill. Despite the uproar, it seems like mechs are here to stay for a little bit. So we put together a list of the best ways to counter them. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. This first tip is more of a PSA for those who still don't know this feature exists. If you're in the mech, driver's or gunner's seat, you can self-destruct the vehicle. The default bind for this is delete for keyboard and mouse and L1 or left bumper for PS4 and Xbox controllers. This is good for obvious reasons. Number one, it destroys the mech, leaving one less mech on the battlefield, which we can all probably agree is a good thing. Two, if there's only one enemy in a mech, you can enter yourself and self-destruct it, forcing you both to fight with building and weapons, a novel concept in Season X it seems. This one may seem self-explanatory, but it's a little more than just running away when a mech starts jumping towards you. It's also about taking advantage of the distance while you have it. One of the best ways to destroy a mech is to deal damage from far enough away that it can't fight back. Take tap shots as soon as you have the visual on any part of the mech, even if it's only the arm. In fact, if you can see a small part of the mech and are able to shoot that, the mech may not know where you are because the one thing that mechs don't have, luckily, are damage indicators that show which direction damage is coming from. Ideally, ideally, you'd be able to destroy the mech before it gets close enough to wreak havoc. But even if you can't, you should still be able to deal a decent chunk of damage before it gets within range, making it possible to finish the job in close quarters combat before it obliterates you. Unfortunately, things don't always work out like you'd want them to, and sometimes your only option is to just take it. Now God forbid if the mech gets within range, your only option is to do your best to dodge the rockets while dealing as much damage as possible. Fighting mechs in close quarters combat, CQC, is not totally impossible, as long as the mech isn't full health. Even if it is full health, once it gets close, you don't really have any other options except to fight it anyway. On to the tips. The number one thing to avoid when fighting a mech in CQC is being under it within stomping distance. We get it. This isn't always possible because the mechs can just jump on you, but it's still worth mentioning that being right under the mech is possibly the worst spot you could be. Not only are the rockets going to bombard you and explode almost instantly, the mech can stomp on you at the same time. The next tip we have is to always run parallel to the mech while fighting it. The idea behind this is that once the rockets are set on a trajectory, they can't make hard right or left turns, so running side to side gives you the best chance of dodging them. If the mech starts to predict your movement and lead its rockets, try juking it out and running back the other direction as soon as it shoots. The last tip we have for CQC with mechs is to make sure you're being efficient with your damage. You should only build to block rockets, and every other second should be spent holding down left click to deal as much damage as possible. Spam building the whole time isn't going to do anything. Your only way to survive is likely to destroy the mech, so keep that in mind. Speaking of being efficient with your damage, another way to do that is to use the highest DPS weapons at your disposal. DPS stands for damage per second, a measure of the max damage per second each weapon can deal. Shotguns, for example, are good in a lot of situations, but have inherently low DPS because of their low fire rate. Automatic weapons with large clips will allow you to shred through the max health the quickest. Miniguns have the highest DPS in the game, with 252 damage per second at the legendary rarity, and they can shoot 60 bullets before overheating, making them the best option for countering mechs. If you hit every single bullet at full damage, you can actually 100 to 0 the mech in 4 seconds with a legendary minigun. The second highest DPS weapons are the Silence SMGs with 216 damage per second for the rare version. After those two, the next highest DPS weapons are the regular AR, drum gun, and surprisingly, the burst SMG. The damage output for almost all the weapons we just mentioned, however, falls off dramatically at range. If you're looking for a high DPS weapon that you can use to chip away at mechs from a distance, the infantry rifle is your best option. The new automatic sniper rifle or the heavy assault rifle are also decent for dealing good damage at a range. 
The only other thing that will give you a chance of surviving a mech encounter are boogie bombs or mobility items. Boogie bombs actually hard counter the mech because they force the driver and gunner out, but you need to find the boogie bombs first, and they only have about a 3.6% chance of dropping from chests. If you do have them, they are the easiest way to counter a mech. Throw the boogie at the mech or within a half a tile away and its operators within exit the vehicle dancing, allowing you to shoot them or even hop in the mech yourself. Mobility items are the other counter to mechs because they allow you to distance yourself quickly from the threat. Currently, the only mobility items in game are shockwaves and launch pads, but things like the rift at Loot Lake work well too. When using any of these to distance yourself from the mech, consider trying to get on top of a mountain. Certain mountains and hills with steep slopes are hard, if not impossible, for the mech to get on top of. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.